fighting out of the blue corner. Hailing from Fayetteville, Arkansas, he represents Meta Martial Arts. He weighed in at 134.9 pounds. The Pitbull, Luis Oliveira. Yeah! His opponent across the cage in the red corner hails from Batesville, Arkansas. Representing Without Limits MMA, he weighed in at 143.3 pounds. The Armadillo, Roland Pruden. I like that nickname, the Armadillo. Especially with Roland as his name. He's a Roland Armadillo. <laughs> so it looks like Luis is going to be coming out orthodox. Also Roland, so we've got a... Glove touch. Ooh, Ooh nice Good knee. kick by Roland, outside kick. Luis fires back with a flurry. Yeah. Ooh, I, a swing and a miss. I would like to see Roland. Roland set up his kicks with his hands. I think he might have a little bit more success. Ooh, very nice leg kick, though. These boys have no feeling process. Yeah, there this. was no feeling out. That's what you get when you hit two debut fighters going at it. They don't hold anything back. Sometimes your veterans will give you... Oh, Luis getting him on the cage, but Roland doing a good job of defending the double underhook position. You can see him pummeling, thrown in. Oh, nice. I love it whenever you get a good throw off and then a, a big shot over the top. Guillotine. Roland looking for the guillotine on Luis. Luis not defending hands. Now he's going to the hands. That gives that guillotine a little bit more validity. Now his head is out, and Roland has an underhook. He's trying to shift and get his back off the fence. Their coach must have the car running because they are not feeling each other out. Oh, they yeah. they want to get in and go for the finish. Roland with the takedown working his way to mount. Nice job. You got to be careful though because there are heel hooks here and if you step up too much with that right leg, he could attack it. Luis did a good job of uh, catching him when he went for mount, when Roland went for mount. Way to recover that half guard. Yes, Roland using this half guard to pin him. He's got some good top pressure right here. He's got to watch his head on that side. Sometimes people abate it to try to set up that Von Flu. I really, I think he needs to focus on his underhook, and there's no need to really pass when you can punch somebody. No, actually, half guard is a great position on top for ground and pound. Ooh, now he's gone to three-quarter mounts. This is an even better position. Now he's going to have the back. He's got to watch, though. He's falling off. Luis needs to watch out for that body triangle. Roland that doing a good job of, of climbing that back. I like that crossbody control with the half, a little bit of wrestling. Sometimes you can get a bar arm instead and just start punching him. You can use the half to punch him. You can see him coming under the armpit and around. As long as he's hitting the ear, it's a legal spot. See, he's a little high right now, so it's very important he stays under these armpits or else Luis is going to put his butt up and work his way oh, out. Oh, oh. Good job of getting rid of his back. Good oh. control by Roland, though. He opened up and didn't allow that to come on top. And now he's throwing some blows. And now we're back. But if, if Roland were to set up that body triangle, I think he'd have a little bit more I security think, on the back. I think he's locking it in, though. It, That's, yeah. This looks like it's in. But there's short time. Let's see if it happens. He's got to just hip in now, and then he'll have it. Oh, yeah, and lean back. Oh, he does have the body triangle. Yeah, just hip in. That's the trick to finishing any rear Ooh, naked 10 choke. seconds. Hip oh, in, wow. hip in. This is a horrible okay. position to be in. You hear that 10 seconds and the choke is on? Will Luis make it? I mean, it's sunk. I think Luis is going to gun He's it He's under ass. the chin. What a tough kid, wow. Luis. I give Roland that round. But, but I mean, it's a 10-8 round, or 10-9 round. Yes, you know, absolutely. It's... Luis had some huge flurries in the beginning. Uh, what really pulled him ahead, I think he might have been winning the stand-up exchange, but what really pulled Roland ahead was that takedown to superior positions and ground about. I like Luis, Luis's corner. They're they're tending to him. You got the ice, you got the water, you got the coach in the ear, breathing, focusing on everything. He's leaning back. And I like what Roland's corner is doing. They're not using the stool. They're staying standing. Sometimes you, you don't want your legs to get tired or you don't want them to, sh to relax. I really like what I'm seeing out of these debuters. These kids are very, very talented. And I believe they're both under 18, so they're kids. I like how Luis's coach is talking to him with the eye contact. I, I think it's really important to make sure that you don't tell your fighter too much and you just tell him enough, you know, so you don't confuse him. Yeah, like three things. Yeah. We have Jesse Taylor in the main event, and you'll be lucky to tell him two things.
All right, Rocky, our official. Catch you love. Touch. These guys aren't breathing heavy. No, oh, man, I'd like to see some feints. Oh, okay, Luis with a little bit of the feint with the jab. Feints a good reader to, to see a reaction. Back to the guillotine with Roland. This is on his chin now. I would, I would think he'd want to get his back off the cage and sprawl off. It looks like now he's going for that Marcella team or that uh, McKenzie team where you shove the fist in the choke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's shoving the fist in. There you go. Oh, this is, the this is dangerous. Locking the hips. Good job escaping. You got to go limp to almost escape. You kind of drop a hip. He did it while keeping his position. Rolling. Oh, uh, we're going to see a big slam. Big slam. Big slam by Rolling. Luis doing a great job of retaining that guard, throwing some fists from the bottom. Yeah, the I right now I think Luis either breaks it, goes to high guard, or needs to hook the legs and do like an Armenian guard, stretch him out. Well, right now I can't see anything but camouflaged buns of Roland and his shorts out here. I, I see a little bit of a flurry coming from Luis. Roland is is doing a good job of controlling the position. I would like to see some more strikes out of him. He must have just heard me because he threw a couple more strikes out of him. Luis looking for that Kimura. Good pass by Roland, but he's still got to be weary. You could still be swept for this position. Roland keeping that knee tight. Now he's got side control. And he defended that Kimura. Let's see what the armadillo has in store. I really would like to see him trap with that knee, the uh, the far arm, and kind of get into that Matt Hughes. Now he's backed him out and has he's got both hooks in from the back. Let's see what he could do with more time here. Yeah, I would look to secure that body triangle right away so that he doesn't slip off because Luis is tough and he, he like fishes and gets on top. I like how he's grappling and punching, keeping the, the hands under the armpit. That's a good display of back control. I, and I know a thing or two about back control. I like the half that he's using to ride, but he could also grab the clavicle there. That's now legal. If, that's, oh. that's like, I've heard you say clavicle more than I've heard you say the word the. <laughs> Every rules meeting, Joe's like, grab the, can you grab the clavicle. Beautiful you know the answer. Shots. Beautiful shots right now. Roland's doing a good job of flowing on top. Right now you want to do, if, unless you see a submission, you want to just really spike his heart rate and punch him a bunch. Oh, nice armbar attempt. It's almost, oh. Saved by the bell. Good work by both these guys. I, I think we're looking at a, a, another rolling round, so it's going to be interesting to see what Luis's coach is telling. He's just a little behind in the grappling and giving up some dominant positions, but Roland seems very exhausted in the corner. But that also could just be his um, nerves, you know, this is his first fight. Well, a good little trick I know to see how exhausted they are and see he's got his hands on the cage that's equivalent to putting your hands on your head because they're up over you um luis got his hands on his thighs that's also another sign of being tired that's what i would always look for when i was in the corner when i was fighting it would give me fuel to see my opponents with these little tells yeah i well luis does have this little posture on the the legs but his eye contact remains very good. Big deep breath from Roland here. This is this is where it's gonna go. Like this third round right now, Luis is gonna turn it on. They're gonna touch gloves. It appears. Roland breathing out of his mouth. Ooh, that's dangerous Good because luck. if you you don't bite down that mouthpiece, Luis jaw can get looking broke. a little bit of a pressure, although uh, it's exhausting getting pounded sometimes and having a guy on top of you. Roland really hasn't gone for the takedown um, very much. Now he is. Beautiful double leg. Now he's passing to half guard. If I was Luis, I would start pushing on that head. 
Good job by Rowling getting the side control. This is a little tricky this position because you got the cage right on the other side. So you got Rowling on one side and the cage on the other. That's like being stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's a horrible position. You can see how tempting it is to grab the fence and sometimes the reaction. Right now, if Luis were to step off the fence, he'd be able to get more leverage to jump over. Oh, but look at that Rowling. Such a good job of oh, loosening up and slipping into an armbar. Back to the armbar. Back to the armbar. He's got to grab that hand before he gets fishy. This is not a good place to be. And this is belly down. Whoa. Look at that. He's still fighting Luis. This, this is exciting stuff. He's got to get a hand on it. This is his first fight, and he's doing such an amazing job. Him and Roland both, but that armbar looks sunk. It's in danger. The ref doing a good job of not calling it because it's still a fight. Oh, oh the wow. escape, the roll through escape. Oh. And he's punching from his knees, Luis. There's so much heart on it. both of these fighters. Luis, this is amazing. Luis got a sprawl. This yeah. punch him while he's grabbing his legs is just giving him the takedown. Let's see if he could go for that roll. He didn't spring to it. He waited a little. I think he needs to focus on his on his uh, wrestling a little bit, and I think he'll see a lot of improvement out of this kid in the future. Yes, if he just sprawls instead of ex instead of stalling when he's on the legs with punches, he would he would these rounds would be different. Well, I I don't mind them stalling on top if they're landing strikes, you know, stalemating it. But, but when you give up a double leg, all your opponent has to do is pick you up. He's looking for the triangle right now. Oh, nice. and it's locked in. It's down to the crease. I don't. I didn't say Roland was stalling. He was just kind of Luis was stalling when he was on the legs. Roland, uh, Luis doing a good job of posturing up, and now he's a little low. Roland doing a good job of cutting that angle. Well, he's got to really, hold that head and cinch I really it. liked Luis. He he wanted that elbow. He saw the opportunity, but he knows he can't do it just yet. And that it looks like the triangle is sinking in, but he's still fighting, so the referee can't stop this. He's going to punch his way out of this triangle, or at least that's his intent. If you're a judge and the triangle isn't close and you're out striking him here, who's this is a bad out? spot to get punched because th this triangle's not on, apparently. Oh. It's beautiful. No, you know, his head's out. Yeah, he's not in the triangle anymore. He's more susceptible to the arm. These, wow! These guys are fisting the hell out of each other. This was amazing. This was amazing. I give uh, I give the last round to Luis, but this was an amazing fight. If this is the first fight, and these are two kids under 18 years old, man, uh, this is going to be an amazing card. You definitely, Stay tuned. You definitely want to keep your eyes on these two. I know I will be. These two will definitely be back for J Street Fights. Good work by both guys. Jim Cooley with your official decision. in our opening contest. After three big rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges see this bout the same way for your winner. By unanimous decision, in the red corner, the armadillo, Roland Bruden. Now, John oh, Stevenson. I, listen, I gotta tell you guys a secret. Last night at the weigh-ins, this kid's dad had to sign a waiver because he's only 16 years old. 